Hey guys, my name is Christian. Welcome to Mix It and Fix It. Today I'll show you how to get professional results using stock plugins in Studio One 7. We'll go from this. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way. To this. Like getting lost in the dark. But somehow I keep on stumbling on, stumbling on. All right, so let's start off by listening to the raw vocal track. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on, stumbling All right, so it sounds fairly good as it is here, but there's definitely some room for, for some processing here. So let's start off by adding the Pro EQ here, which is a parametric equalizer. And uh, we'll start off an EQ as we go along here. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way. Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on, stumbling on Hanging Alright, so I made some minor adjustments here. I added a high pass filter at 80 Hz, and this was recorded with a 47 style microphone, so it's quite thick in the low mids. So I cut some around 300 Hz, another cut at 5 to 600 Hz, and then another one at around 1 kHz, just to kind of clear up that uh, low mid range. So it sounds fairly good. Now I think it's time to add some compression. And I played around here, and I really enjoyed the um, the FAT channel, which has a couple of different compressors, and they have a FET one, which seems to be emulating a, an, an 1176. So let's start by uh, adjusting the threshold and start compressing some vocals. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on, stumbling on Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way all right, so catching peaks and doing about 3 to 4 dBs at most, I think that's a good sweet spot. I tend to work in layers when it comes to more acoustic style music, so I don't want to slam, you know, the compressor too hard here in the beginning. Then I'll add another instance of the fat channel here, and then I'll use the tube compressor, which seems to be an LA2 style opto compressor. So let's adjust this one and uh, compress some uh, vocals here. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on, stumbling on Hanging on. 
All right, so once again, about one to three dBs of gain reduction on the loudest parts, just to try to, you know, start to compress and even out the vocals. I do think that there's some room for some uh, de-essing here, so let's try adding a de-esser. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way like getting lost feel that i'm losing my way like getting lost in the dark that's a good phrase let's see what that does um with the 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 esser like getting lost in the dark like getting lost in the dark yeah so i think that worked great and then i actually cheated here a bit but i played around with the different reverbs that studio one has to offer and I settle on the mix reverb here for the first reverb and I tend to use a reverb that emulates a room because that adds depth and space to the tracks. So a very short reverb and the vocal track is going to a vocal bus which I then added the reverb one send. So let's listen what that does on and off. I'll also turn off on the backing track here so we can see how that adds, uh, how the track blends to the backing track. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Alright, so I think that that is a good first step to add some depth to the vocals. So that will just push that back the vocals a little bit so it doesn't sound like it's laying down flat on top of the other tracks. And then we have another reverb, and this is a longer reverb, which meant to sound like a lush whole reverb. So that will, uh, that will add more tail to the vocals. So let's listen what that does here. Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Right, so I think that that added another dimension to the vocals. But I have one last trick here that I'm going to show you guys. And sometimes, or many times, I use some sort of doubler slash chorus on the vocals that can also add some depth and width to the vocals. And I found this uh, doubler plugin, which seems to be Roland inspired. I played around with it a little bit. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. And this will also, this will give the vocals some width and also work almost like a super short uh, slap delay slash room. So let's see what that can do here to the uh, vocals. 
Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Hanging on All right, so let's listen to the backing track playing along with the lead vocals here and I'm going to I'm going to activate and deactivate the sense Sometimes I feel that I'm losing my way Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Right, so I think it sounds pretty good here. Um, of course, if I would have mixed all of the tracks in the same song, you know, there's some mix bus compression and processing going on that really glue everything together. Those kind of extra five, ten, ten percent of the mix. But all in all, uh, very easy, and I think the plugin sounds great. You know, the parametric EQ works great. You have the fat channel with a fat compressor. I think it sounds decent. I haven't done any shootouts between this and paid plugins, but I think it sounds good. Uh, the other one, the Opto tube compressor, equally as well, you know, very soft in the way that it compresses. And it's a good way to, you know, just make the vocals sit. And then just a standard de to control the sibilance. And then, of course, the, uh, the reverbs and such. So... Super simple. I think that you guys should check uh, Studio One out. I think it sounds great, easy to use, and I'll see if I can make the plunge and switch from the good old Pro Tools, which I've been using for well over 20 years. All right, so if you enjoy this kind of content, like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys around.